Hey everybody, Rick Needham, handicapping thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania on Sunday afternoon, September the 4th. And this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 this afternoon, folks. 3.22 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Six and a half for a long sprint on the dirt track. Three-year-olds and up racing for an allowance tag of some $48,000. Tenders number two, Calvin's Dream. Number four, Tapstar. Number one, need to get paid, and number seven, bullet rain. Number two, Calvin's dream, excellent early speed to complement for this sprint has hit the board in five straight, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jackie Rosario Montanas and trainer Keith LeBaron sent him to the post. They've whacked the tote board with 59% and nearly 100 entries saddle as a team to date. Number four, Tap Star has produced power runs in four straight, including power run wins in both his second and fourth races back, which of course is indicative of a bounce pattern, folks. The bounce will be up positive this afternoon if this pattern continues. Race 8 summary, number 2, Calvin's Dream, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 4, Tap Star, number 1, Need to Get Paid, and number 7, Bullet Rain, 2417, in the 8 from Parks Racing. To me, it's still Philadelphia Park. Bonus long shots, Woodbine, race number 8, the 8-1 to one shot, number 5, Hippolatus, takes the class drop, nice overall speed for the smile test on the turf, Canterbury Park, Race 9, the 10 to 1 bomb, number 4, Sashes Fierce, takes a class drop of 3 units. The overall speed leader here in the $50,000 Minnesota. Distaff Classic Championship Stakes Racing at or about today's distance of 8.5 furlongs on the dirt. whole bunch of stake races at Canterbury Park on Sunday afternoon, folks. So from uh, Parks Racing, Philly Park on a Sunday repeat of or dayofthetrack.com, reminding you as always, please bet with your head, not over.